So we haven't had rail cars come on site. I think the last time was when Unit 1 was decommissioned. It's the last time they really had a lot of rail activity here. So in order to prepare, we had to come in, clean out the rail lines. We had engineers look at it, make sure that the rails were sufficient. We had BNSF come out and, and also had uh, got their authorization and said, yes, the rail lines are good. So we start with the planning process. We look at what activities are generating the waste. We look to make sure that we have enough samples, uh, adequate samples to appropriately characterize the waste material so we can plan for the appropriate packaging and conveyances that need to be scheduled in order to remove the material from the site. The building that we're standing on right now, the AWS, is going to be demolished this year. And after it comes down and the footprint is cleared out, we will be installing five more rail lines. Uh, that's to increase the capacity of rail on site and to make sure that we can move material out in a timely manner so we're not stockpiling material on site. So when you have one billion pounds of waste material that you need to remove from a site, you want the most efficient and safe uh, conveyance and package to do that. And that's where the rail car comes in. So one rail car is equivalent to six trucks that would be out on the highway. Rail's also safer. There's no impediments to its, its travel on its journey to uh, Clive, Utah. I mean, there's no risk of traffic accidents and so on. So, so it's a much better way to convey the waste from here to there. By putting uh, all this material into rail cars, we're reducing the amount of traffic on the road, uh, and we're also reducing air emissions, which are both good things for the area. Well, you can see here this pristine environment that, we, uh, that we're in. I mean, this plant is built right, on, uh, right next to the San Onofre State Beach. Beautiful ocean right here is enjoyed by surfers, and a lot of people live uh, nearby. So we're, we're committed to really strict environmental uh, stewardship as we carry out the decommissioning. I got into waste management 15 years ago, and uh, it's a unique field. It's challenging, and I think that that's probably why I enjoy it so much. Uh, not everyone likes to do it. There's nothing exciting about it necessarily, uh, but it has to be done, and, and, and it has to be done the right way, and, and I think that's why I enjoy it so much.